gorgeous. As soon as it's like warm enough to be naked outside, we usually are out there looking for spots. Close your eyes, beautiful. Hi, I'm Melissa Higginson, and I am a boudoir photographer here in the Kootenays, specializing in body positivity. So I first got introduced to photography when I was hired to work at the portrait studio. Um, I didn't actually learn how to use a camera there, I just learned how to pose people and work with kids and families. A couple years later, I had my daughter, and my daughter was born with a Port Weinstein birthmark on the left side of her face. It's quite a red and purple type birthmark. It's not something that she would grow out of, it's something that she'll have for the rest of her life. And I just was really trying to learn about it and trying to um, figure out how am I gonna guide her through this world now with this birthmark and how I'm gonna help her to love herself when she's going to look different than other kids. So I started taking pictures of my daughter and I would do different themes and kind of have fun in my basement doing that. And then like friends that I had in mommy groups and stuff like that would ask me to take pictures of their kids. So I've been doing it on my own for about two years now. After the first year, I decided that I wanted to try doing a boudoir shoot. I just like posted on my Facebook page, on like my little photography page, and I said, hey, does anybody want to try a boudoir shoot with me? Um, just doing it out of my bedroom. This was obviously before COVID. And there was like a ton of response. Boudoir is photography for everyday women. Usually it's sexy, but I feel like boudoir is changing now. It doesn't just have to be in a bedroom. It can be anywhere, and it's just an empowering form of photography. It does look so pretty here, because I can see the water. I'm really pop that booty upwards. I think it's just like a freeing feeling too. And then the shoot is all about you, and maybe you're not used to having that much attention just on you. Usually I get ladies that come back to me, they'll usually message me that day and just say, hey, I feel so great, thank you so much for doing all of that. And it's funny because I don't do, like I don't have like sprinkle magic dust, I literally just take their picture. I really want them to feel empowered and confident in themselves and I want them to just feel like the, I don't know, the baddest around. <laughs> Some people aren't comfortable with their photos being shared, but a lot of people really enjoy when a photographer is sharing an image. It makes you feel really good inside. When I had my daughter's newborn photos taken, they were not posted online, and I was kind of hurt by that fact, so that was kind of when I was like, I'm gonna start taking pictures myself, because I don't want her to ever feel like she's not good enough to be shown off. That's like a big thing for me is trying to um, be very inclusive with taking photos of everybody. I just want to be able to like show everyone, even if you're different, like show the beauty in your difference. 